film friends here and here. I'm gonna try to do this in one shot. O2 meter and CO2 meter without much talking. Paper mask. Handed it out at the store to my wife Teresa when she was going in there and she didn't have a mask. She was refusing. And then she took one so that I could measure it. So O2 meter. This is measuring the percentage of oxygen in the ambient air. We're outside and it's 20.9 percent. So I'm just going to breathe a little bit here into this uh, mask and we'll see what we get. different things, deep breaths, breathing through my nose, short shallow breaths. All right, I figure that's enough. All right, so it's going to come back up to 20.9 in a minute and stop alarming. This will start alarming at 19.5% which OSHA states is a, an immediate threat to life or health. So it takes a little while for the air to clear through the hose. Now we're past 20%, uh, percent, but we're not up to the 20.9. Okay, so I've got a little gray button on here. I can push that and it's gonna tell me, it only records the event in terms of uh, what the lowest number was. So we'll see what it says and I'll show it to you. It only flashes for a second. 15.8% we got. And it's only for a couple of seconds because it fluctuates up and down. So if we didn't, that's the lowest we got and it'll only show me um, how long we were at that level. So if it comes up to even 15.9 and then back down to 15.8, if it's 15.8 for only a second, then it's only gonna show me 15.8 for a second. If it's that for two seconds, it'll show me for two seconds but then it went 15.9 and 15.8 again. So if it fluctuates up and down, you know, whatever, for a minute, and it was at 30, 30 full seconds at 15.8 and 30 full seconds at 16, it's gonna tell me that we got one or two seconds at 15.8, because that was the, uh, the longest uh, measured duration at that low number. Oh yeah, getting distracted. I'm trying not to do that. This fabric mask I bought for when I'm doing construction work, working on uh, drywall, sanding, uh, cutting something with my table saw that makes a lot of dust I don't want to breathe in. I definitely find just, I feel that I breathe better through this than the paper dust respirators I can get at the store. It's washable. I would have looked for one that was all natural fabric. I've had it a long time, soaked it in vinegar, that helps. <clears throat> I'll try this guy. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm just going to put this in here so it's near my mouth and then uh, breathe in it for a minute and then I'll show you what the lowest number was. Make sure we're near my mouth here. All right. There we go.
try to see what the lowest number I can get here is. If it goes any lower than what I had, but I don't think it will. All right, so that guy's not bad, actually, which is surprising. It is thicker than the paper mask, but I do find, I've done this several times, and it just makes me not feel good. I don't know how people do this. If you're wearing these things all the time, I can't do it. Okay, so what do we get? 18.7 was our lowest recorded with that guy. <clears throat> All right, so that beep is just this resetting, clearing the um, alarm event so that it won't keep that in there, but record the next alarm event if we do go below 19.5%. So again, this is just a, this thing stinks. I hate putting this on. This this thing literally gives me a headache, literally. I can't wear this thing on a, on for a long time. I'd rather pull my shirt up over my face. And if I'm standing drywall and I don't have one of my fabric masks that I showed you, these are all that I have. Make my nose itch. I wonder what kind of particles I'm breathing in, frankly. Like, I'm not going to keep doing this. I just wanted to do one, one more video. <clears throat> I don't think it's good for my health, frankly. Okay. I don't want to wear this thing anymore. I don't care what it goes down to. Anyway, the point is it alarms. Whew. I swear that one gives me like... Whew. That one gives me like... Oh, it actually says it's an N95. What do you know? Oh, that's... I cannot wear that. N-I-O-S-H N95. That's not a medical mask. I bought that at Home Depot. And it was just labeled as a dust mask. I gotta recover from that. God, I gotta get through this. You guys think I'm exaggerating? I can't wear these things. 17.9. That's what we got with that guy. I'm just gonna do one more. I have other ones, but I'm not buying one of these really thick. Reset. One of these thick fabric masks that people are wearing. I'm not doing it. Just a doubled up bandana, not very thick. <clears throat> not tight on, so tight that I can't breathe. I'll do this in a pinch over wearing that Home Depot respirator. So I might actually have to hold the hose here because I don't have any kind of, uh, you know, an elastic or anything here. So just, uh, let's see. I'm going to try to leave the mask open while I hold this here. So we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this, I guess. It actually came back to 20.9 per second. Again, 20.9. I'm just going to try some different ways to breathe. Oh, we dropped real low. Whoa. When I was talking, it got really low. Whoa. Dropped again really low. That's interesting. All right, I don't think I'm going to get back that low again. I'm breathing out of my nose now.
I actually read an article in the Daily Beast where a doctor claimed that a fabric mask is going to be better. I just did an N95. I didn't even realize that was an N95. I think this got lower than that. All right, that's enough. Oh. <clears throat> 19, 9, 20, 21, 20.2, 20 20.3, 20 20.9. So let's we'll see what we got. 15.5%. 15.5% oxygen under this mask. Now, I'm not uh, telling you that it stayed there. Um, it stayed in the like 17.8 range, something like that, kind of as a, and then it would drop, and then it would come back up over 20%, and it would drop. All right, now we'll do it with the uh, carbon dioxide detector. I got to turn this on, and um, goes through a 30-second warm-up period. <coughs> now the uh, the article that I referenced in the Daily Beast. I'll share that somewhere, maybe here. But um, he was talking about carbon dioxide, not talking about oxygen, but saying that the uh, fabric masks are going to be better. This is just a doubled up uh, bandana. But i got to try to zoom through this because it takes a little longer. This, with the oxygen meter, like it alarms and then it kind of like quickly goes down to whatever the lowest um, reading you're going to get. This uh, takes a little while to get down to where it's going to go and then it takes a little while to get back to normal. So. Um, my ambient air right here outside is 458, which isn't terrible. It's gotten worse because some cars has driven, have driven by, but we've been under 450. 350 to 450 is good outside air, typical outside air. I'm just going to kind of like hold this up here and just um, I think this is the best way to show you where it's in front of my face. I mean, I hope you can see that by the way that I can't like put it like straight in my mouth or something. <sighs> I've tried to put it in through the side, but I think it leaks too big a hole. And I'm just trying to, you know, the mask would be tighter. I, I kind of open it up really big like this. So, anyway. All right, now not with this mask, okay? I'm not gonna suffer any longer with this mask. That's 10,000. Just see how quickly it comes down off of that. Not that fast, actually. I stop it and stop soon enough. I have found that if I, maybe it just got really high. I have found that if I pull the uh, meter out of the mask or take the mask off, right when I see the quadruple zeros, which means I passed 10,000, that it's going to come back down into the 9,000 range and then drop, sometimes by thousands and then by, you know, then by hundreds really quickly. So you see it went, how fast it drops. That's six, right? So almost 7,000, 6,000, well, all the way down to 2,000. It's going to stop alarming at 1,100. Oh no, I'm sorry. That was 5,000, not 2,000. There's 3,800. I wonder if the meter detects if it's actually like there's so much CO2 in there, why does it take so long to come down off of 10,000? Because if I found like if, I'll, if, I, if I take it out right when I hit uh, four zeros, 2126, gonna stop alarming at 1,100. Right when I hit quadruple zeros, if I take it out, it'll go back up back down to 9,000 pretty quickly. If I hold it in there for a little while, takes a while for it to clear. So this is going to stop beeping in just a second. We'll try this one. Now Teresa had said to me that maybe I shouldn't hold my mask down, but I mean, if I if I try to put this in here, I'm leaving all this open space. So I'm just trying to hold it down here because it fits. These fit around my chin. I mean, the bandana doesn't, but these other ones do. So I'm not going to wait for it to go all the way back down to the ambient. But... So I can't like shove this in my mouth or anything, you know what I mean? It's sticking straight up in there. This is just like in front of me, so. And I'm just sort of <clears throat> making sure I don't have an air gap on the bottom. <clears throat> so this uh, article from the Daily Beast, this doctor, he says, the holes in the mask are too small to allow carbon dioxide to build up inside the mask. 
It just doesn't work that way, it's illogical, he says. Okay. Illogical. Boom. I'm just going to take this right out and see what happens. What is that like? Four seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's like twenty seconds. It took twenty seconds. Now let's see. That was like four seconds to drop about eight hundred. I don't know. I'm not saying I know, but why does it stay so long? And I'm just telling you, there's been times when I've like taken this out like straight away and it dropped right down to the 9000s. Tried to do it quickly that time, it didn't really work. So we're just gonna let it get back down. So this is measuring parts per million. 10,000 parts per million would be 1%. So 1,000 part per million is 0.1%. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in another video. that I'll link. <clears throat> well, this wasn't the last one I was gonna do, but I'll do this anyway. We'll let it get back down. So to change your oxygen percentage that's available from 20, let's say 20.9%, to go down to 20.7%, well, that's um, just 2,000 parts per million, okay? So if, if you're not even alarming, if you go 10,000 parts per million, if you're breathing in 10,000 parts per million carbon dioxide in your mask, that's only changed your oxygen availability from 20.9 to 19.9, which would not cause the um, uh, the O2 meter to alarm. Okay, <clears throat> we're down in the range of. Uh, I wonder how. Let's see if we can just kind of do this. Let's see. I don't know how. I don't know how well this is. We'll see what happens here. There's a pretty big gap down here, obviously. We'll see where it goes. Maybe I'll try to hold it on there, I don't know. So I read that we're exhaling 3% carbon dioxide, which would be 30,000 parts per million. Oh, man. This is just sitting like right under my mouth. It's not even in front of my mouth. So I want you to be able to see it. If I shove it up there too far, you won't see it. <sighs> so I can't remember. I've tried to get this done in one shot a few times. If I just held it in front of my face without the mask, I'll do it anyway. Let's see when we get to 10,000, which pretty much every mask I do, so we'll see. We might not, unless I hold it in there. I think we will. That's kind of, we're just going to hold this down a little bit. That's getting better. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to 10,000 if it'll... Let me just close up the gaps and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I just wanted to get it straight out and see if it dropped right away. What is that, about two seconds? Three... That was less than 20 seconds. That was about 13 seconds. It doesn't seem consistent, like it takes 20 seconds to clear or something. So I wonder if that is related to how much over 10,000 we go. That's the thing is I have no idea where we're going here, but I'm gonna share some information, not my own opinion, about what the, um, you can find information about how uh, oxygen levels are gonna be, what oxygen levels are gonna be uh, dangerous and what, um, oh, I don't know where it is.
this. What oxygen levels are going to be dangerous? What CO2 levels are going to be dangerous? And they're just being, you, know, you got a guy in an article saying that it's illogical for carbon dioxide to build up inside the mask. Well, okay. I'm just going to wait for it to stop beeping because I like to show how fast it rises. And then we'll call it quits for this. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of information to share, and I'll share it either in comments or in the video description. Maybe make a short video talking about some of these things, but I can just sit and read it in front of my laptop. So we're almost back down. Oh, before I do this last mask, which I hate because it stinks. I'm just going to hold this in front of my face. So this is, this is where it is um, when I've got a mask on. Just breathe right on the thing. Yeah. Breathe out of my nose on it. So if I'm if I'm understanding um, correctly what I'm reading, I'm breathing out 30,000 parts per million CO2. Not with every breath. Not every breath is the same. We sometimes will retain CO2. Our body will regulate our breathing to help regulate our our metabolism. To talk a little bit about that. I'm breathing right on the thing. It's illogical. No, do this. Here's a little example. How illogical it is. Is my hand airtight? If I was to cut my hand over your mouth, you should have no problem with that because my hand's not airtight. So I couldn't make you pass out by putting my hand over your mouth, right? The space is around my hand, and between my hand and my face, carbon dioxide can get through there, right? This should be no problem for you. Let's say I do it really tight. We'll really, we'll really put that on there nice and tight here. Before it wasn't all that tight on, I just hold this on here real good. I'm not breathing very good here. I got my nose closed up. I can barely breathe through my mouth. But I can breathe. Here comes my little girl. Hi, baby. What's your daddy doing? Come here, Susie Pants. I believe your dope house starting to feel lightheaded, man. Gotta work hard to actually get my air. I feel the same way with the mask on. But this, it's illogical to believe that carbon dioxide can build up inside my hand because the spaces between my hand are not airtight. <sighs> I need to recover from that for a second before I put this chemical stinking mask on and do this last one. So. There we go, we're going down. Let's see, I'm gonna hold this in front of my face. See if it continues to drop. I'm breathing right on this thing too. Breathing out 30,000 parts per million carbon dioxide with some of these breaths, right? Put a mask on, you should be able to just get fresh air, no problem. This is unpleasant. I'm doing this because I want you guys to see this, you know, and make your own decisions. I spent $300 on meters, so I could spend this money on other things. I'm not strapping a mask on my face, my wife's face, my, my uh, kids' faces, not knowing what the dangers are. I'm not doing it.
and uh, I've spent hours researching this stuff. So I'm not wearing this because I support the orange man, by the way. I don't believe in political heroes. None of them. None of them are heroes. None of them are good people, as far as I'm concerned. This is not a, a political issue. I'm just going to show you how, where we get, how close, if we can get close down to where our ambient temperature, our amb ambient uh, carbon dioxide level is. This is not political <sighs> politics. Nonsense. This is whether or not this is safe. Prove to me it is safe. Don't just get some talking heads on the TV telling me it's safe. Prove to me it's safe. You people are telling me I gotta wear a mask. Prove to me it's safe. I'm gonna show you some evidence that maybe it isn't safe. 515 holding it by my face. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, so we're down to 489. We're almost to what the um, level of carbon dioxide is parts per million out here in my atmosphere. 488, we've had cars drive by again. <clears throat> I was doing this earlier today when there was less traffic on our street and we hovered under 450. I'm not sure we'll get down that low. Last one, then I'm ending this video. So we're in the 470 range. Not amazing air. 350 to 400 would be really good. 450 is kind of like the top end of what your air is supposedly supposed to be. But here in the suburbs, my air is not that good. Better than it is in the city, which is 100 parts to 150 parts per million. Worse than it is here in the burbs. Uh, the meter shot off. I'm gonna end it at that. I think we were gonna get there. Come here, baby. Um, <clears throat> we got up over 5,000. Hi, come here. We got up over 5,000. That's with an N95. But I just read an article talking about how you're not supposed to use it with the ones with the valves because they don't protect you against the boogeyman. So um, I'm not even doing that anymore. I, uh, my last video actually showing the masks. So I'm gonna make a video talking about some of the information that I found. And uh, I'm gonna leave it at that and just really implore you to research for yourself by meters, you know, and uh, check it out for yourself to see whether or not you actually feel comfortable with this or you feel like it's something that's bad for you. Tell them, friends, until next time. Uh, I'm being paged for dinner, but I'm gonna do this one. I wasn't gonna, but I'm gonna do this last one. So, um, when all this stuff started happening with uh, mask mandates, started looking into uh, what I could possibly do number one not to be breathing in chemicals with the, like this thing which is horrible and I actually feel like I can breathe and so um, I came up with this this is just a face cloth for like cleaning a baby it's supposed to be real gentle this is supposed to be organic um, cotton it's a linen cloth made with organic cotton and it's supposed to have um, natural dyes and then we cleaned it, soaking it with vinegar, which is supposed to help eliminate some of the, uh, eliminate, supposed to pull uh, chemicals out of, out of fabrics. So we do that. And we just use some uh, shoestrings to make like loops up over the ears, and then you can tie behind it, and we left it open. So this came back down. Hasn't been a car by here in a little while. We're down to 438, so that's not too bad, 436. 80 degrees if you want to know. I'm comfortable. 85% humidity. This is just open on the bottom. <clears throat> now I'm just going to let this hang here instead of trying to bunch it up and I'm just going to stick this up here under my face. We'll see what happens. Up under my mask in front of my face. So originally I got just the O2 meter and uh, I tried out several masks using the O2 meter because I had seen a video that a fella did talking about OSHA requiring workers to have um, 
19.5% oxygen to be safe. So I, had, I, I bought the O2 meter, that was like 150 bucks, and then I got this meter which is like 150 bucks, and they can be way more money than that. I got, you know, pretty good ones, but... Um, so in the meantime, while I was waiting for my O2 meter to show up, I came across a video by Del Bigtree from The High Wire, and he was having his 11-year-old uh, son wear masks, various masks, and then checking with a CO2 meter. So with that in my mind, our O2 meter shows up, and I had actually used the O2 meter on these various masks and seen that it was bad, that I would get numbers under 16% oxygen inside the mask. And then I tried it with this mask, and it wasn't bad. Like, it stayed, you know, over 20.5%. And so that really made me feel like, well, if I had to wear a mask, I could wear this. If my wife was going to go out, if Teresa had to wear a mask, that this wouldn't be that bad. And we got enough of this to make masks for everybody. Um, this has been a journey for me. I'm going to make a video talking about some of the other things I found out. But then I got the CO2 meter and did this test. I'm over 10,000. I don't know when I got over 10,000, but I got over 10,000. You can see through this. You see my orange shirt under here? It's just hanging here. And then, you know, I'm reading an article, doctor saying it's illogical to believe. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better. It's illogical to believe that carbon dioxide can build up behind the mask. Because the uh, air molecules are so small that they'll, they'll pass right through when you breathe in fresh air. Drop it down, 51. 43. 37. The humidity got up to 99% inside the mask, isn't that? I mean, the humidity topped off and the temperature went up. Um, now I've got some other things to share about that, but this is the best thing I could come up with to actually feel like I can breathe. You can see me through it. Hangs loose on the bottom. I still go over 10,000 parts per million, and I have no idea how much higher than 10,000 parts per million it goes. Until next time. We've all got our switches, lights, and knobs to deal with, Striker. I mean, down here, there are literally hundreds and thousands of blinking, beeping, and flashing lights. Blinking and beeping and flashing. They're flashing and they're beeping. I can't stand it anymore. They're blinking and beeping and flashing. Why doesn't somebody pull the plug? I'm all right. I'm all right.